Check that all your cut panels are here. You have your skirt, your top and your sleeve. Your pocket, facing, cuff and collar. So of all your darts, the ones on the top and the ones on the skirt. For the collar, one panel has interfacing and one does not. Put both panels right sides together and sew from here all the way to this side with a 1cm seam allowance. When you're done, take a scissors and trim the seam allowances. We're going to remove the bulk, so trim around half of the seam allowances away. Next, turn it inside out. We're going to sew an understitch on the inner collar. The inner collar is the one without any interfacing. On the inner collar, we're going to sew close to the seam line, making sure to catch the seam allowances below. Iron it flat once you're done. Let's move on to the top panels. We're going to sew the back and the front together at the shoulders with a 1cm seam allowance. Mark the sewing line at the corners. That would be 1cm from the edge of the fabric. The purpose is to locate the corner of the sewing line. Do the same for the facing. Again, a 1cm seam allowance drawing out the sewing line. Repeat this one more time for the collar. Locate the notch on the front bodice and indicate it with a fabric marker if necessary. This is the starting point from where the collar panel is going to start. With the interfaced side facing up, you're going to secure the collar panel to the starting notch. Next, we're going to match up the sewing lines, the corner of the collar and of the front bodice. Here I'm taking my time to make sure the corners really match up and then I will pin it down to secure. your facing panel on top and we're going to secure all three panels in place the front bodice the collar and the facing
I'm going to readjust this needle so that I can match all three panels together. The sewing line of the facing, right in that corner, the sewing line in the collar, and the sewing line of the front bodice. down to secure. I'm just readjusting this pin so that it secures all three layers together. So from the bottom up, stopping exactly at the corner. Do not go past that point. One side is done. And this is how it looks like when it's completed. We are going to repeat this on the other side, exactly what we did before. Be mindful to check that the collar will not be twisted when this is completed. Using the location of the notch, start the collar from that point and pin it down to secure. It may start to look a little confusing, but just ignore that as long as you're sure that your collar is not twisted. For this side, I'm not going to pin the collar and the bodice together, I will just do it straight with the facing on top. So I'm going to match up the corner of the facing, the corner of the collar and the corner of the top together in one go. Remember when you're sewing to stop exactly at the corner. After sewing, you notice that the front of the collar is now completed. And there will be a little hole in the center, which is fine. We'll work on that later. Grab a pair of scissors and we're going to trim away the seam allowances to reduce the bulk. Trim away half of the seam allowances and repeat for the other side. Let's sew up the center hole. Positioning your fabric exactly like me, we're going to sew the bottom two layers together. We're going to sew the back top and one layer of the collar together with a one centimeter seam allowance. Starting from the point that we stopped sewing, from here, all the way to the other side, stopping exactly at that point. Grab a pair of scissors and we're going to make a snip through all layers of fabric 
right in front of where the stitches end like so repeat on the other side next to reduce the tension we are going to make little snips into the seam allowances of the two layers that we've just sewn previously Once we're done, we're going to seal up the opening. So push all the seam allowances up in between the layers of collar and fold up the edge for a clean finish. Make sure the seam allowances are not coming down. Instead, push the up in between the collar fabrics. There are two ways you can finish this. You could overlock the edge here. And sew right in the ditch where the collar meets the back bodice. Or for a cleaner finish, you could fold the fabric in for a neater look. Do not overfold, if not you'll be able to see the stitches and as you sew later, you'll not be able to catch the fabric. Fold a little lesser, making sure that you cannot see the stitches this way, when you sew, you'll be able to catch the fabric. What about the corner? You'll also tuck the corner in, upwards, in between the layers of fabric. You start from this corner all the way sew it to the other side of the corner. Once you're done, it should be sealed up. We would want our collar to open up when we're wearing this dress. And to do so, we would need to sew an understitch. The understitch would be in two different directions. So you need to identify where your notch is. For the bottom half, you'll be sewing on the facing and the top half, you'll be sewing on the top. So that it naturally curves this way. Working on one side at a time, locate your notch. For the bottom part, we're going to understitch on the facing and for the top part, we're going to understitch on the bodice. So for the bottom part, push the seam allowances towards the facing and sew on the facing. And for the top part, push the seam allowances to the bodice and sew on the bodice. So they're going in opposite directions. Sewing on the facing, twist, and then sew on the bodice. On the left side of the panel, you're going to measure and mark 2.5 centimeters from the center front. Place the right panel on top of the left panel and we're going to baste the panels together at the waist. You may add a pin 
before you baste them together. When you're done, it will look like this. Let's sew the top and the skirt panels together. Sew the front top and the front skirt together with a 1cm seam allowance. Do the same for the back panels. Overlock the seams together. For the sleeves, we're going to crimp the crown of the sleeve from notch to notch. Sew the sleeve to the armhole with a 1cm. Start by pinning the side seams and notches together. Now gently pull the crimping stitch so that the crown of the sleeve matches up with the armhole. Your goal is just to shrink the crown of the sleeve just by a little bit. You are not creating any folds or gathers. There is a fold over here which I'm trying to get rid of. And once you're satisfied, pin them together and you'll sew from side seam to side seam with a 1cm seam allowance. Once you're done with both sides, overlock the seams. So one side of the side seam with a 1.5 cm seam allowance. Overlock the edge and move on to the other side. Sew your zip on the other side. Check that the zip runs smoothly and we're going to seal up the top and the bottom of the zip with a 1.5 centimeters seam allowance. To finish the top and bottom of the zip, it'll be great if you can change your footer. Here I am using a single footer. I want to start by continuing where I left off, moving the needle all the way to as close to the stitch as possible, making sure not to sew on the, knee, on the zipper, securing my stitch, and then sewing all the way down with a 1.5 cm seam allowance. This is how I'm going to finish up the top and the bottom of my zip.
the top of my zip and the bottom of my zip is completed. Overlock the hem of the skirt. Measure 5 cm seam allowance and we're going to fold it up and iron. Fold it upwards and iron and sew with a 4 cm seam allowance, 4 cm from the edge of the fabric. For the sleeve cuff, right sides together, sew the short edge 1 cm seam allowance. Spread open the seam allowances and iron and then fold it into half lengthwise and iron again. Matching up the seams, we are going to baste both layers together and seal it shut. So you're going to sew around the circumference like so. Attach the cuff to the sleeve matching up the seams. Seam and seam, they go together, put them around. And you're going to sew one centimeter. All the raw edges are together. So the raw edges of the cuff and the raw edges of the sleeve. Sew the circumference at one centimeter seam allowance. Overlock the seam. To ensure that the cuff stays up while worn, we will sew an extra stitch. Let's sew an under stitch on the sleeve. Making sure to push all the seam allowances. So you're sewing on many layers of fabric, about 0.5 cm from the seam. So here we go, sewing on the sleeve, approximately 0.5 cm. Take a look, the seam allowances, they're all pushed to the side of the sleeve. Reach back to the starting point and you're done. Flip it up and gently iron down so that it will stay in place. Following the button position on the paper pattern, hand sew two buttons down. Here you have it, your dress is completed.